my mum straightened my hair like a few minutes ago. She just came up to my room and said, I'm going to straighten your hair. And I was like, do you have to? So I am here to do my June favourites. It's like the 29th today, so June is effectively over. Uh, and I'm going to share the things that I enjoyed during the month. I have made so many of these videos and just never got round to editing them. And this time that's going to change. Okay, so my favourite book this month would probably be A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. I haven't quite finished it yet, but it's been freaking good. Um, I give it about four stars, which means really good. It doesn't mean love, but it means really good. My favourite character is Lucian. Uh, in terms of films, I've been having one of those months where I am absolutely obsessed with River Phoenix. Like, I get it every so often. Uh, usually it doesn't last quite this long, usually it's only a day, but I've been really, really obsessed with River Phoenix lately. I'm just fascinated by his family and his life and everything. And so I was like, let's watch some River Phoenix films. Um, of course I rewatched Stand By Me, my favourite film of all time. And um, the first two times I'd seen that film, I hadn't really known much about him, and then I'd learned about him, and then I got obsessed with him afterwards. So this time, re-experiencing Stand By Me, knowing how much I loved River Phoenix was just amazing. Like, his smile, every time he smiles, it makes me feel so sad. I also watched my own private Idaho. I genuinely have no clue what happened. I think it was something to do with him, like, finding his mum? And he kept like passing out because he was a narcoleptic. Um, but it was at the same time I loved it, and I don't really understand why. Maybe just because I love River Phoenix, and I was really shipping him with Keanu Reeves. In terms of fashion, I have two items that I've been loving this month. One that I bought just yesterday, and it's this play suit to Istanbul next month and when you go into a mosque you're supposed to cover your shoulders like so I thought in order to respect the Islamic religion I would buy something that I could cover my shoulders with but of course because it's so hot there I don't want it to be like a full-on cardigan so I bought this it's like sort of a thin cardi perfect really put it on for you shoulders. Television. So Game of Thrones series 5 just en ended a few weeks ago and it was shocking. If you'd like to hear more of my thoughts then you can watch my review. I've reviewed almost every episode of the series. Genuinely don't know how I feel about the ending. It was intense, shall we say. Um, I also watched the Mr. Robot pilot. My dad kept raving about it. Uh, so me and Jack, who is my brother, watched it together. He thought it was absolute quality. Uh, it's not really my kind of thing, but I did enjoy it because I could really relate to the main character because he really hated the world. And I was just like, respect. Of music, I have been obsessed with McBusted lately. I mean, I've always been a huge McFly fan, and you know, McBust and like Busted's always been on the side. And um, I started really getting into McBusted this month. I watched the documentary with Fern Cotton and learned all about them. Did you know that Dougie went to rehab? Because like, I'm obsessed with Dougie Pointer. Like, he won I'm a Celebrity several years back, and I've been in love with him ever since. And it's just like, I didn't even know that about him. Favourite McBusted song is What Happened To Your Band. Uh, it was written by James like seven years ago now. And um, because he was really badly affected by the split up of Busted. And part of the reason I love McBusted so much is that it makes James so happy because he's in his element when he's making music. And I really feel like he's in a good place with McBusted and it makes me very happy to see James happy. 
And finally, YouTube videos. Um, I've been really loving the biannual Bibliothon challenge videos. I actually made some, if you'd like to check them out. I made five out of the seven videos. Um, but I've been watching like all the hosts' videos and everything. Like Emma Books, um, his videos are probably my favourites. She did a really great cosplay um, for day three of one of the dancers from Pandemonium in City of Bones. And that was really great, so you should definitely check out that video. Okay, that was it for my June favourites. I hope you enjoyed this slightly different video, and I'll be the same. Hello, so I'm here to do the Peter's Book Tag. It was created by, I think, someone called Margaret, by Daniela's book selection. Yeah, I was tagged, never been tagged before, so it was an exciting